Hey everyone welcome back to the everything guide. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. In today's video we will be talking about how to pass a test. The first tip is to make a schedule. When you start preparing to study, it's best if you have a set schedule. Know how many pages you need to read each day to get through a specific book, or how many questions you need to do to get through a specific Q bank. Doing this will keep you on track and let you know if you are falling behind schedule. I like to have a list of things to do each day so that I can check them off when they get done this makes me feel like I accomplished what I needed to. You can also add a few things to the end of your schedule for that week, so if you have extra time you can get those out of the way. As well, the second tip is to be realistic. Going back to number one, while it's important to have a plan, it's also important to set goals that are achievable. Don't make your schedule so jam-packed that you end up not completing your tasks for that day, this will stress you out. To help decide what is realistic and what isn't, spend one full day studying before you make your entire study schedule so that you can gauge how long it takes to complete each task. By doing this, you will have a better idea about how many things you can give yourself to do, depending on how much time you have to study that day. The third tip is to not rush yourself. If you end up giving yourself too many tasks for one day and you realize that you aren't going to get through them all, don't rush yourself. If you try to cram things in any way, you won't be putting as much effort into actually learning the material, and chances are you won't remember the content as well. What I do in these situations is take the tasks I know I won't get to, and tack them on to days where I might be able to shorten my lunch break, or add an extra study hour on to one day. This will give you some extra time to spend on those topics without speeding through them completely. The fourth tip is to stick to a few methods. When I first started studying for standardized tests, I thought more was better. More books and more question banks the more I could read the more knowledge would be stuck in my head, right? Wrong. What ended up happening was I would be studying most of the material without taking the time to actually learn it. Since then, I discovered that the best way to study was to stick to one of each method, one textbook, one Q bank, and one supplemental written notebook. By doing this you eliminate the stress of multiple sources giving you different information which happens pretty frequently and you can focus on getting through the material multiple times instead of reading multiple sources. Only once. The fifth tip is to do what works for you. By now, you should have a general idea of how you like to study. For me, flashcards never really helped, but answering questions, reading the explanations of why I got it right, or wrong, and taking my own notes, does. If you know that studying on your own is better, and you are less productive in a group setting, don't waste your time trying out something new. For me, I like studying alone for the most part, but reviewing the material with someone else for a few hours at the end of the day. I feel that this reinforces what I read earlier and helps it stick better, but again, everyone is different, so at this point in the game stick to what you know works best for you. The sixth tip is to take a review course. I can now confidently say. It was one of the best decisions I made. Having someone who is highly experienced and knowledgeable in that area tell you what they think is important for you to know for an exam is definitely helpful. By doing this, I was able to focus on the high yield material, and weed out some other topics that were less important for the exam. Ask around for opinions on different review courses you can take. And make sure the one you sign up for is legit. The seventh tip is to pick a good study spot. Location, location location probably one of the most important things to me when it comes to studying is where i am studying my number one goal is finding places that are both conducive to studying and also offer sustenance because my life typically revolves around when my next meal will be the eighth tip is to do things to relieve stress aside from adding short breaks into your schedule there are other things you can do to relieve stress you can try running when i've had a long day of studying i throw on some workout clothes my favorite running shoes, the right playlist, and just run. Whatever it is you're doing, whether it's working out, catching up on some TV, or preparing a nice, healthy dinner for yourself, try to be focused only on that, and not to think about anything you learned that day. I promise when you're done you will feel so much better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like comment, share and subscribe.